Hello and welcome to the dashboard course by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how you can create a rollover mouse effect in Excel. Let me first show you what I mean by a rollover mouse effect. Here I have these four parameters revenue, gross profit, net profit and employees and you can see that as of now net profit is plotted in this chart. Now see what happens when I hover my mouse over these arrows right beside these parameters. So if I go to employees and let me activate this worksheet. Now when I go to employees and I hover my mouse over it, on this arrow, this chart gets updated with the data of employees. If I go up to net profit, it gets updated with the data for net profit. And you can see that I am not clicking this this cell. I am simply hovering my mouse over it and as I do that the chart gets updated based on this data. This is called a rollover effect in Excel and this was first used by an Excel MVP and a fellow Excel blogger Jordan Goldmeyer. So I would copy his technique here and show you how you can use this and then you can get as creative as you want in using this technique in your dashboards. So to do that, let me show you from scratch how I have done this. So let me delete things and you can see there is a formula, but I'll show you how everything works. Let me also delete the conditional formatting, which I have applied here. Now this is the data. This is the raw data here. Let me delete all this so that I can show you from scratch how you can do this. This is the raw data. I have revenue, gross profit, net profit and employee number. And the idea is that when I hover my mouse over that tick, then that value, which means that if I'm hovering my mouse over the tick besides revenue, then revenue should come here. And when I do it for say gross profit, then gross profit should come here. And based on that value, it should extract the values for that parameter. So for example, if it's revenue, then these values should come. And if it is gross profit, then these values should come. And then this is plotted in the chart. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to identify this cell. You can do it here or you can do anywhere in the worksheet. But the idea is that you need to name this cell. And it's not necessary, but it's a good idea. In this case, I have used the name name rollover. And remember when you're naming, uh, the convention says that you cannot have any space between these names, these two names. So it's a continuous name, name rollover, which would refer to this cell. Now I have created a custom function using VBA and you cannot do this without using VBA. So to go into the VBA screen, I would press Alt F11. And this opens the VBA window, the Explorer window. And here I have this function. If you are starting from scratch, you would want to first go to this, uh, any of the sheets here, right click and then insert a module. And when you have this module, then you can insert this function within the module. Here I have this module uh, as module one, and then I have this function within it. A function here is similar to what we have in worksheet functions such as VLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH uh, and you can simply use it and it would do whatever you specify here. So this is a short one line code and you can see that it says this is a public function it can be used anywhere in your workbook and the function name is change chart and it takes one argument which is name. Now if you remember VLOOKUP would take four arguments, INDEX or MATCH would take say three arguments. In this case it would take only one argument and that could be a range which means that this argument would be cell references. And when you use this function what it would do is it would go to the cell a name rollover which was mentioned here. So I'll show you what the cell is. This is the cell which is name rollover and in this cell it would put the value of this argument. So in this case say I refer to cell A1 and that A1 has my name Sumit in it then this cell here would have my name. Similarly if I refer to cells which has revenue or gross profit or net profit margin then that value gets here and that is exactly what I needed. So I would use this function, the function name is change chart and I would use the argument name. So let me show you what I would do here. I would simply come to this cell which is 
here and I would use the function change chart as I type you can see Excel prompts the name of the function I would simply hit tab since it's a custom function that I've created uh, also called as your user defined function it would not show me any arguments it can show you arguments but I've, I'm not going into so much detail and here it takes one or a range of uh, cells so I would need to give a cell reference in this case let me simply give the cell reference as B2 and when I click enter it gives me a value error because it is doing what it's supposed to do but it's not supposed to return a value here all it needs to do is go here and put this value in this cell so what I would do is I would put this now in hyperlink and what this does is oops, I would simply put this function change chart within hyperlink function and now when I hit enter it again gives me a value error so to avoid the value error let me also wrap this within if error if you're using 2003 or below then you may need to use if and a combination of if and is error and I would say this is the value but if it is an error then simply give me blank now if you go and hover your mouse over it you can see there is this hand coming in which means that this is a hyperlink and I have not clicked on it yet but when I go back to the data you can see that this value revenue which is this cell has already been entered in this cell F2 which is my name rollover cell and the reason it happens and let me show you again I would delete this I would go back I would hover my mouse over it then I come back here and you can see revenue has been entered similarly I can apply this formula for all these cells and see what happens when I hover my mouse over gross profit I go back to data and now it says gross profit so let me uh, extract the data for what uh, parameter it's selected in this cell I would first use a match formula here just to get the position of gross profit so match formula takes three arguments my lookup value would be this cell name roll over my lookup array would be this entire thing I would hit F4 to lock it and my match type would be 0 and now when I hit enter oops it gives me not available ah, okay the reason being that I've selected a wrong range my bad I need to select these cells because these has those names the lookup value is what's there here which is gross let me move this uh, tooltip oops let me move this screen here name rollover is gross profit it would check whether gross profit is here it's here at the second position so it would return the position let me also lock this cell reference now it returns two if I put revenue here say I copy paste revenue here it returns one because revenue is at the first position in that range now I need to extract all the values for revenue so I would simply use an index function here my array would be all these cells all these values I would hit F4 to lock it my row number would be 1 2 and 3 as I go down so I would use the rows function and I would use this rows function gives you the number of rows that are covered within this reference in this case it's e3 to e3 so it would return one but let me show you what happens when I go down I have logged the first e3 so that when I go down it would become e3 to e4 and in that case it would return two and as my column number I would simply select this because I want this column this cell which would be row one column one when I go down it would be row two column one so I've made my formula in such a way and I would lock the cell F1 now when I hit enter it gives me 2134 and when I double click on it or drag it down or copy it then it would give me all these values and you can see that it is dynamic when I copy and paste cross profit here these values would change now I have this in place I can use this data to create my chart so let me create the chart here only I would create this chart column chart here and I don't want these values rather I don't want these so let me delete it and insert it again so I want only these cells and here I would go to insert column chart and this gives me the gross profit 
uh, chart and I can change this here I select data and I edit horizontal category access labels because I don't want one two three four I want 2011 to 15 so now this would get updated as soon as I change these values let me copy this chart and put it here now see what happens when I hover my mouse over it it becomes revenue gross profit net profit employees and see that I'm not clicking on it I'm just hovering my mouse over it now what I need to do is this is all good enough but it would not happen if I if I hover my mouse over revenue but if I do it in this cell so to do that I need to somehow show a symbol or anything which would at least tell the user that you need to hover your mouse over this icon or anything and uh, what I would do is in this if error because this formula would always return an error it would work but it would always return uh, an error so in this case I would say give me four and I'll show you why I'm using four because here I would then format it I would change the font to web things and when I do that it would give me this it would give me these arrows and I can remove the underline and you can see that now I have these ticks and when I hover my mouse over it then these values change if you want you can apply conditional formatting here so to do that I would press alt o d this is a shortcut keyboard shortcut for conditional formatting if you do not want to use that you can simply go to home conditional formatting new rule and here I would use use a formula to determine the values and my formula here would be if this value and I would press F4 uh, twice because I want this to go down but I don't want this to go to the right and I would say if this is equal to this value here and I would keep it uh, locked which is dollar f dollar two so this is my condition if okay I need to go back and select it again and I have to format it and I would say the format should be say this color and at the same time a border so I would give it this border maybe at bottom and now when I click OK and I click OK you can see it gives employees is underlined and that is highlighted because as of now employees is there in this cell and uh, it's also plotted in the chart if I go back to net profit you can see that it is now changing and you need to hover your mouse over this arrow so that your chart gets updated now this technique is not only limited to charts you can also use uh, various different things I was thinking about it and then you can use it in say interactive controls uh, you can use it with the data tables you can use it anywhere where your entire data can update based on where you hover your mouse so this could be a really powerful technique and uh, I would from now on I would try and use this in a um, couple of dashboards and show you how it can also work in dashboards so that's it in this video. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.